Siabonga we chamba. I mean it timba. My mother would listen to Lady Smith Black like Mambazo and she would say they sing as if it's a radio singing. I'm also saying they sing as if it's a radio singing. <laughs> Thanks a lot to them. At this point, we'll proceed and I'll ask uh, the Honorable MSC for Health, Dr. Lomo, to do two things as we agreed between the two of us, Dr. Lomo. Uh, thank you very much, Program Director. Greetings to our Minister of Arts and Culture, Ubaba Utingiswayo, the Deputy Mayor of Eteguini, Umama Umlomfuzo Shabalala, the family Yaga Baba Unet Takasa, Umama Ukledis Mapumulo, and the whole family, the CEO of Heritage Council, Advocate Mangotwa, uh, the representative of South African SANEF called Baba Umatetetetetu Nojo. From the, 60s. the members of the media, the senior government officials present here, no Balawe Tegu, Olita, African National Congress. I'm also glad to see no Bala Wamakoskas, Kuleo Tangano, the African National Congress, Sokabasa, Uzama Sokabasa. Media representatives that are here, because we now know that uh, the leader S. Z. Naila was a particular mother who might have had a pain when a hambem shabeni engambo nebuya. Nano guti ubuye nyanga and yamakoskas. Nano mababa utingiswa yuzo mbega genyanga yomlando wa makuku ezwe. It will be there for people fitting in honor of law mama. Siti ika mala makosi gaze malibongwe. Ika mala makosi gaze malibongwe malibongwe. Malibongwe, Malibongwe, ma, Malibongwe, 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 Malibongwe. Yeah, but see, I'm born alone, Mama. Oh, Zalela. Then Dota and then the leader that we are about here. But uh, I'm not a uh, premier um, Kunu. Also, and I, I'm not also MCC Peter Sapeta because uh, those are the leaders in our government who were uh, supposed to be here. I must apologize up front. Umamo Peter Sapeta is delivering her budget speech today, and she has two budgets to deliver one is sports and recreation, the other one is arts and culture. Uh, now, you can't be away from legislature when you are delivering my budget speech. And we all have to rush back there because none of me can't even go to the hotel and my budget speech won't get. If you go to the hotel, you can't go to the hotel and you can't go to the hotel. 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 So, I'm going to go to the legislature and I'm going to go to the hotel and I'm going to go to the hotel and I'm going to go to the hotel. We are deeply touched honored and privileged. Vele nambe nzo ba kona jango shalo we tegu kule ntanga nengkulu ngoba pela sibonga kakulu kutu zobe we tegu in. Manjere uma lili ngaga e tegu na bahul bakona is because we are very humbled. Might as well say this, a few years back, when we brought back the remains of Baba Moses Mapita, the people of Mozambique asked, but it says kabansuwe yini manji. Why do you take a leader who is lying in the soil of Africa? We told them it doesn't feel the same. We feel he must come and lie in our shores in KwaZulu Natal and where he's buried now in Peter Marisberg. To date, the grave where Ubaba Moses Mapita was buried in Mozambique lies empty. They say they want to psychologically believe that Ubaba Moses Mapita is there and therefore they are not going to use that grave ever. 
Little did we know that when we went to Zambia again to bring back the remains of Baba Ucho Makatini, the Zambians said, but what have we done to you, South Africans? This leader was as good as our leader. And leaving him here in Zambia, we felt very great. But we understand. Nevertheless, we felt that we are going to leave him here. Now, umage ubabu net nakasa simlande America. I akob mdozo kala la paya. Ngoba asibonu utu befu to mele ngalendela. E ngabe ufu to mele ngaya no mangabulele Mozambique no mangabulele Zambia. Uma bebe mfu to mezilega basa America gushege bande wada simlande lube gutega cool. Ben gaga glunga besin geswaga ashe umoya wake unga parati great. And Ubaba, oh, Dr. Masondo is quoting rightfully so. And we are following the law of 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 the the law of 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 of the law of the law the the remains of Bab Nagasa Azo Pelela, Azo Lala Etegwini, Azo Lala Gwazul Natal. And we want to salute and thank the family and say to the people of Chesterville, maybe it is the testimony of the way you lived your lives. Banbaste Chesterville has given all their best to this country. It may be very important, guess Bali say Ngomlando, Wabandu Baste Chesterville, a lot of them. Who, and we are really saying thank you to Itego for making a decision. Ugutila Paya, we are going to create a hero's ache, and we are grateful, Uguti, Ubabuna Gasa, Ufiga, Inga Rapele Andao, Ea Kise Kona Lapo, Wegle La Makawe, Namakawe Gazi, Alla Eteguini in Chesterville. We should know how to be see Valerindao, Begofna Sivule, Ezobe Ipeganinai. We therefore want to convey. Our heartfelt thanks to our government. No man is a man's bonga. Uguti Ufige Baba Utingiswayo Wangene in Yatelwin Zala Baga de Benga Pam Wangova Shuti Vele Niswa Hulmen or Water Benga Ufige when Zogun Yoksugide. Got a never less nasty bong and over Utofi or Ishishis Alenda by Ebin Kulugangak. And for those of you who have been involved and our program directors actually thank them who have been part in the process of the exhumation of the remains of the Nakasa uh, hero in New York and their repatriation back home. We also want to thank those U.S. officials who have been part of that program and supporting our government. We now know it was not very easy, but nevertheless, you did. We also want to thank those South Africans who were in exile, Nobabu Nakas, at the time of his death. We hear that Mamu Miriam Makeba also was no more was part of that team of our artists. Oh, Hugh Masigela and the photographer Peter Makubane, who have also helped uh, even with the actual identification of where he would have he was. To the Nakasa family, we would like to express our condolence, of, of course, our thanks for giving us this great giant who became a global icon and a symbol in the fight against racial oppression. We know that the pain experienced by, by Mamu Kledis Mapumul, the whole family, for being unable to bid farewell to him when he passed on cannot also be Im imagined. Today, as we, as we bring his remains home, we hope that his family can begin to find closure to this very uh, important, uh, important program. Indeed, Ubaba Unet Nakasa was an extraordinary man an inspiration that our young people today can learn many things from. He never allowed his dire circumstances to limit his potential or stand in the way of his dreams. We have now heard, and I'm glad to see Namsanje Baba Uchotlol, who one again said in, in one of his writings, Net, and I quote, Net was ahead of his time, believing in the ideals that would now expose a non-racial, that we now expose a non-racial, non-sexist democratic South Africa in which all are equal before the law. Another great writer, Pippa Green, in 1999, a new man fellow from South Africa, noted 
that by dying so young and so far from home, Unet Nakasa has become the symbol of the loneliness of exile and the struggle for dignity in racially oppressed society. Another author, Usimpio Mahala, knows the, how Nakasa derived pleasure from making a mockery of apartheid laws. He once called the train ticket officer and speaking in a deep English accent, booked himself a first class ticket. The first class compartment, as probably some of us would not have known, was exclusively reserved for whites only. And they realized only when he came to collect his ticket that they've made a terrible mistake by selling a ticket of a first class to a person who was not deserving to be on a first class uh, coach. Now, those are some of the important things that we today note. Today, as we bring back this giant home to South Africa, to Wazul Natal, to Chesterville, we hope that you'll be proud of South Africa that we have today. For indeed, we have strived to be non-racial, non-sexist, democratic country in which all are equal before the law. We would want to continue deepening that type of uh, history. We are confident, however, that as this giant returns home, he will be proud that South Africa no longer send students to study overseas and get them lost. We send students overseas now under circumstances that are very different to those of his time. We no longer have a one-way ticket of, out of our country. Our young people study overseas and bring back those skills for the betterment of their countrymen. It is thanks to the vision and selfless sacrifice of people like our leader, Net Nakasa, that we are able to do that today. And I don't know how much of us would know that we are today richer than yesterday by just bringing these remains back home. I have therefore been privileged to be introducing our honorable minister who will then give us a keynote address. The good that you see in Tingiswayo is because of two contributions, his family, Jacob Tetua, and his big family, the African National Congress. He grew up in, in the young, as a young star and a member and a leader of the African National Congress Youth League. He now leads the mother party of this Youth League. Very different Youth League then, and now we can see the maturity in him. In 2009, in the previous administration, he was our Minister of Police, and he led with distinction. This time around, he's our Minister of Arts and Culture, and he is a member of the National Executive Committee of the ruling party, the African National Congress, and he sits on the NWC, National Working Committee of that party. I now invite our minister to come and address us. Thank you, uh, program director. Challenge and go Bingalela dignitaries here. MEC Lomo, Sebongam Kabel, your kind words. Yes, Bingalele, Ubaba, Matata Zedu, Jo Tloloe, Sbingalele, U Sagela, Maya Wetegu. Mama Ushabala, being a CEO of National Heritage Council, who Baba Mangojwa, also Nwabile Mangojwa, who Koko. Best again being a lela, as Ngabo Namshanje umde nwagwa Nakasa to the Nakasa family. When we were preparing to, to go to, to the U.S., Umama Gladys 
na kasa mapumulo told us about his last day her last day she saw her brother tige babe okibela waye wezo kibeli pano ila etewin lenda webizwa nge ngelu ipotha airport eh agukho kude nasekhaya nobhala umbutho wesizwe okhona pha eduze nje kwasekhaya la uthi ke ngoba bajwayele amabus so bahamba ke be womphelezela but they were late in her mind she thought that she would tell the driver of the aeroplane that no stop a bit you see i just want to pass a message to my brother tjwaleke kanjalo emabhuseni uthi wo yima yima pass now <laughs> the plane was about to leave and when the plane is about to leave leaves uh, all what she saw was the handkerchief of his brother bidding farewell to to her that was the last day babu dlomuke washo izinto eyininge bezenziwa eh unet nakasa what he didn't say is that at one point they placed an advert on the newspaper nomnganwake luis goes ukuthi they are looking for a maid a white maid to work for them ngalezo ikhathiki and uh, this maid must be prepared to sleep over needless to say that that cost them expulsion baqosha la bebihleli khona that's the man we are about today the man who was courageous who even mocked the apartheid system last week we were in our offices with ubabu peter makuban who was one of the people who was there when he passed away uh, in 1965 and he was narrating a story of unakasa coming to joburg so they came to meet this uh, would be new colleague of theirs but what struck them would lo muntu ufike pithi putmende khona isithombe sakhe se putmende ufike pathi putmende nela putmende he you think he has lento le i putmende ne racket so wembuzi gama la kuthi uba nuthi u Nathaniel ndazana nakasa said no 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 ese chose la usu net kusho ke u Ken Tem from now u net i was about u Nathaniel la igama lakho ngathi paragraph so u net manje and today we we mark the culmination of the journey that began 50 years ago when net nakasa left his motherland on an exit permit as it has been said which rendered him a stateless person and as we have heard also have, he has written that he was a native of nowhere we are proud to say we have restored his dignity and given given him back his citizenship the occasion is the fulfillment of his dream for a free society where every man and woman would be treated with respect and dignity it also brings closure and healing to the family upon landing at jfk airport in new york last wednesday we immediately headed to fencliff fencliff cemetery for the family to see and witness the grave site where this great son of the soil has been laid to rest for more than 49 years this was a very poignant moment moment for our delegation especially the family who were retracing some of the steps of nagasa's journey in america you would recall that nagasa was buried near malcolm x's grave 
the two had met first in, in Africa in, Taz, in Tanzania and became friends. Ultimately, they died within months of each other in 1965. The same symmetry is the final resting place for other luminaries in the United States of America. Two days later, on Friday, the 15th of August, the funeral parlor conducted the second act of extracting Nagasa's remains from the American soul. At a special private ceremony held at a funeral parlor, the family was accorded the privilege to view the remains. I was informed by the family that Ned Nakasa's remains were in relative good condition. They decided not to remove the soil from the bones, thus symbolically keeping the bond that Nakasa had with the people of America and the rest of the world. A memorial service to pay tribute to this legendary journalist and writer was held at Broadway Presbyterian Church in New York. It was a sad and yet joyous occasion that so expatriates, family, friends, and other community members from across the United States of Amer America united in prayer, in song, and dance to celebrate Nagasa's life and contribution to efforts to create a better world. We wish to express our thankfulness to all those who attended this historic event. The last, few, the last few days offered us an opportunity to reflect on the meaning and impact of Ned Nakasa's life. This is a life that has touched many people in a variety of ways. There is no doubt in our mind that Nakasa was a complex figure, an articulate journalist, and a highly gifted writer. In fact, he was a man who defined his time through his lived experiences and writings. Today, Nakasa returns to a, South, to a South Africa that is remarkably different from the one that he left 50 years ago. So if Ned Nakasa was here today, um, he was not going to speak in that deep English and pretend that uh, he's a white man so that he, he get the first class ticket. He would have been pleased to know that this year we celebrate the 20th anniversary of the freedom that he fought for so courageously. We are repatriating Nakasa's body and spirit back to his ancestral land just over a month after the passing away of his dear friend colleague and fellow writer, Nadine Godema. Godema was the last person to see him off at the then Jan Spatz Airport in Johannesburg. Nagasa died on the 14th of July, 1965. And 49 years later, Godema died on the 13th of July, 2014. Today, marks the, re the reunification of Ned Nakasa with his people. We are proud to say to the world that Nakasa has returned to his ancestral land, not as a native of Norway, but as a true South African patriot, as an African, and as a citizen of the world. As part of celebrating Nakasa's legacy, we are running an essay competition in collaboration with Drum Magazine, where aspirant journalists will discuss the significance of the event, the significance of his life and times. The city of Eteguini is currently running an exhibition that captures Nagasa's life at the Oral History Museum, Konala Eteguini Ekakasi. The exhibition will be running until the end of the year. On the week preceding the reperial, we will run a number of programs, including debate competitions, panel discussions, and public lectures. And we're doing that, this precisely to ensure that people 
remain as courageous in, in, the, in the journalistic fraternity, remain as courageous as Nagasa was, remain as loving to their people and, the, and their country as this legendary patriot was. We will continue working closely with the province as we prepare for Nagasa's reperial on the 13th of September. And to this end, I must emphasize what has been said earlier on. That important historic decision which was taken by KwaZulu Natal Executive Council under the leadership of Comrade Zuelim Kize as the premier of the province of KwaZulu Natal made such a difference in this journey. The participation of Queen Metro Council was also telling in the sense that you saw cooperative governance of three spheres of government working together the way we supposed to. It would be amiss of me not to mention the role played by SANEF. That SANEF over years have kept the name of Net Nagasa alive and we thank their role and we thank all what they have said and done this far. <clears throat> but the person I would especially want to pay thanks to Izuma Gladys Nagasa Mapumul, who, as she will say, I was still younger, I was still stronger when I went around knocking on different doors for someone to hear me out that as a family we need our brother back home. Her tireless work was complemented by everybody else government, the media, and business. And to that, I want all of us to say, thank you, Mama. It happens in your lifetime. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the repatriation of Nagasa is a positive testament to nation building and social cohesion that he wrote about many years ago. This is an important victory for everyone who has supported the struggle for democracy and freedom in our country. This is also a vital step in redefining our purpose and fostering positive change in society. We say to you, Nathaniel Ndazana, Nagasa, Sugute, Kutam Kondwin, Usufigi Lego Ishomkul. Lalage upumulezu in loi shomkulu. Kwa ambushanga ne noi shomkulu. Na makao kule nao. Echesterville. Abantu, abebe, oba, baguwe. People like AWG champion. Umasata mnyam. By a smile ala beko na njenga manji. Sia bo. Thanks, Mr. Minister, for those wise words, we really appreciate. And also to our MSC Ubaba Ujomo, Dr. Jomo, and Dr. Jomo also quoted uh, Sipio Mahada. I must say he's a young boy uh, who is a very good writer. He was part of our delegation. Uh, Sipio, uh, congratulations for that. <laughs> At this point, I will then proceed and ask the CEO of a very important institution in our nation building project uh, to give us a vote of thanks who advocate Mangojwa Baba. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Program Director. One thing that we have not done as we close is to welcome and accompany this hero with a song that is befitting him. And I will ask this congregation to join in this song. The song that was sang when Nelson Mandela 
led the defiance campaign. And everybody, I think also our hero, Natasha, will also follow it. Siti mkulu, mkulu umsevenzi, umsevenzi, wengulu lek hamachon. Siti mkulu, mkulu umsevenzi, umsevenzi, wengulu lek hamachon. O Mandela, O Fona Amasocha, Amasocha, Ingolulek. O Mandela, O Fona Amasocha, Amasocha, Ingolulek. Si tu simkulu, umkulu umsevenzi, umsevenzi, Ingolulek. Siti semkulu, mkulu umsevenzi, umsevenzi, wengulu le. Umandela, ufona amasucha, amasucha, wengulu le. Ngosika kuhulu. Our minister will agree with me that these revolutionary songs are part of our heritage and important that they be sung in this occasion like this. Mine is very brief. To thank the program director himself, Babu Nyobo. I think to choose a program director like you and somebody who was part of this glorious journey to bring one of our own back, it was indeed befitting. I will also thank the family. Umama, I think it's important as well, to, as the minister has said, that Umama has agreed to be part of this, but also the entire family for having agreed, working with government, that this hero be brought home. I think Minister of Arts and Culture, Babu Natin Teto, Nyombos, it's also befitting again that we thank you for your sterling leadership in this area. For those who thought that Arts and Culture was a junior ministry, they are up for surprise because if Chubans will deploy one of their own, they had of ideology in the Cuban government to head arts and culture. It therefore means that those who think arts and culture is a junior ministry do not know. In fact, little knowledge is dangerous. We have now seen a minister. Again, what is important in this example of Chupa that I've made, that our minister is also not only the member of the National Executive Committee, of the ruling party, but is also the head of political education in the same party. And we've already seen, Minister, the strides that you have made with passion. And we can see Tina Sabenza Pazuwa Kuti long five years ago, Auzo Washuga, Aguzo Aguzo Salo and Jiguzo Sejans, because of Ilila Shipiako. And we have done this as well. Thank you so much. Because I know Guti Zinizis and Debezim Debezim Funa. The Guad of Onarishwa, a Tanzania, only last week, with Julius Nyerere, Mualimu, and the minister was also supposed to go there. But then I was also through La Guti, Nale Ebon Guti Balegil. He sent the Deputy Minister Maputa Fasi. And I know that that's the team that will lead this department to greater heights. The provincial government of KwaZulu Natal, Ubaba Um Utoktal Shomo, Singasho City, Ngongoshe, you have not just represented uh, the Premier 
but yourself as a leader, you have ensured that indeed the food of thought that you have given us and your own words of wisdom guide us as we put this hero of our people to his final resting place. Thank you so much. And you have reminded us about other repatriations that took place here. Uh, we also thank as well Sanef Ubaba Matatatin for your own wisdom again as an experienced journalist who indeed is not fashionable to the journalism uh, industry but a very old and somebody that we can regard as a veteran. I know that these days veterans are young people, but uh, you indeed, you are indeed a veteran. I've seen you as well with your cap, which is a brand, your own brand. If you don't wear that cap, we ca cannot see that is Matata who's coming. Thanks so much. Uh, we also uh, acknowledge the Lighthouse funeral directors. They've already done their own and we, they are also thanked. The delegation that accompanied the minister, all of them, we have seen them here standing. I think the minister chose for fresh mind, people with fresh perspectives. And patriots, Amadela Gufa, Amatanda to, to you, this is not, this was not just a job, but a service to the nation. As Mark Coburn is and Lagokona. Uh, we also thank the, me the members of the media for your continued uh, coverage of this uh, important episode of our heritage. We have seen, we have been following Minister whilst you were abroad. We are also thanking the municipality of Eteguini. I know that this municipality minister has done, has made very big strides in promotion of heritage, more especially on the area of the Liberation Route that we've been working with them. And thank you so much. Members of the legislature, the members of the African National Congress who have ensured that they are part of this event today. The leadership, Yombu Tuwe Sizwe, the African National Congress, Sinibule Lagakulu, Goba Ingalenye, Nesko Keloseinu, Saulum Trimbi. The Ains Women's League, Siababule Lagoko na Omama, Be Umbu Tuwe Sizwe. Umkonde Tuwe Sizwe, you constitute the last line of defense of our revolutionary struggle and, and we thank you as well. Uh, the top officials and all officials of government who are here today, we cannot forget the service providers with the hope that we are going to get something to eat <laughs> after this. Uh, you are thanking you as well for, for having you know, showed up and for having been part of this Namalung Selelo Enwenzile for this occasion. And lastly from me, I would love to again go back to the minister to say that the challenge that we've placed before this gathering of repatriating more heroes in heroines working with other spheres of government is well placed. And I should think that also what you have also made, Minister, you are also broadening our own understanding of our heritage. Kauti Minister, Kai Fika Kauti in Wabi Zogunyekama. There are people, somebody was called Nile, which was a, 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 a left handed man. In Jobek, he was called Lefty. Nile was called Lefty, because Nile means that he's a left handed man. 
And in Jobek, also Minister again, like Natasha, they said, we also as busy and Kamalika, we are lefty. And he became lefty for the rest of his life. That's really part of our heritage. Very light, light but very important. And thank you so much to all this gathering. Thank you for having to wait. You have been waiting here patiently. When the, the plane were waiting for the flight to, to land and you were here, Sebulela Matela Gufago Wetu, Sebulela Matanda Azu, Makawe, Gutanda Gueno, Nini Abasegi, Nina Bakuse, Lebenkulula Goetu, and Nizanganje Apa, Nize, Kunsegis, and Dubana, Eli Tanda Azu, Eli Liakach, and ST Manangas Tozel, Kukogos Bulela Gakulu Gagun. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot, Advocate. Thanks a lot. We highly appreciate it. Um, as we heard, the funeral is going to be on the 13th of September. Between now and that date, there will be a number of activities that will be happening and announcements will be made. And then also, as we will have seen here, we have, for instance, the members of the MK veterans who volunteered and said to us, this is how they want to participate. In other words, net belong, net belong to all of us. If you have some suggestions, especially those of you who are based here in Etewini, and want to, to, to contribute towards um, the honor tribute of NET's memory, please approach us and discuss those ideas with us and see how we can together work to ensure that some of them do happen. Um, at this point, also, I wanted to recognize Umeri Papaya, who played quite a very crucial role. I've seen her around here. I think she's seated on my right-hand side. Uh, thanks, Mary. I know what you did. Uh, thanks a lot for, that, for, for, for your contribution. Um, and then also, what I wanted to point out is this was a very complicated um, a, a process leading up to this function. If you notice, we had to bring about three functions together so that we accommodate everyone with respect. Uh, and the family, they also belong to certain institutions. We also had to brief the members of the media and also inform the South African nation is at large that we have done what we promised to do and this is what we had to present to them. So that is why then at this point, I will then ask Ubaba Mfundisunakasa to then take over. I will then explain as to how it's going to happen. He is going to deliver a sermon as part of the family request. This is what has to be expected when a man has been away for 50 years and is now coming back. That has to happen. So their ritual is Christianity, and that is what they are going to be doing. And then what's going to happen after that, after the service, will then uh, take Nakasa uh, to leave uh, for wherever he's going to be kept. And then once he has departed or is left, will then afford the journalist. And that's where my colleague, Sandy Lememela, will take over the spokesperson of our minister, who will then facilitate the press conference. All of that is going to happen here. Um, and, then, and then after that, there are some refreshments that have been provided, and we are going to invite all of you to participate. But when Akasa, whilst you are coming forward, uh, the choir from the church will know what to do when the pastor comes on stage. Thank you.
Ai bongo da Zalwana. Amém. Amém. E bem galera, eles culo zam zonge ngala. Ninguém quis dizer nada mais, mas ninguém culo nem escat. E bem galera, um parati is shabo no makeluan. E bem galera, tu baga é que ninguém zoa. Aba parti bamba zo mala. Gafisha nem jing galeng bonge. Gula aba bebe ambeni timba. By a pesha Nkale bongo mde nwa wana gasa Kakulu gas Abantu wana baka puti Bonke Ebebe ambile Baya umlanda la matambo Umfo etu Iti zwa mingi ya mbonga Kulu nkulu nkulu baza lwa Nena mtanje Ya togoza Ngi kule Ngi zwa Numa kutotwa emdenini Ngale nko keli Ya wana gasa Kale ndota elele la Injele ya pila nga yugu lilizu. Umang buga kiba zalwane. Numang kisbuga minang buga yena. Kibuga inwa smende. Hallelujah. Ya kwa nagasa. Amen. Ito gama umdumse. Hallelujah. Mabugi stombe sake. You feel it kutu uyena. Hallelujah. Sinji ya kiba zalwane. Tina ba kwa nagasa sabate. Haibongi ngosi. Age kwa naga asumu ndo mubi. Ufuze kabu ni nage loyo. Umae kona. Ngawe wia ibone lage. If you can see. Baza lwane ngi. Zwa fushende ganti ni manga sayo. Ngi suli gangkulu nkulu. Aibongi ngosu. Sikaba kwa naga asage. Isi ni mleyo. Isi fani. Fani. Nekwa naga asa. Sungo tuta, isbongo, numa istagazelo. Sungo tui, sungo sika, sungo mpogo pogo wikwibu. 
Sugo means about Sutayo. Sugo putuma gum zimba. Putuma is Antabang. As both Lagu, Bissiat, Lakakul, Tina Bogatut, as the gums in Bokalimali. Hallelujah. Kuningi gang, a gushong gang, it can't be Zangoba. We are deep. Kakul, Telage, oh, Dr. Masondo, Ungum Chana was a kaya, Ungum Tagway to foot. As if we lose Lengo, sing what it is, Ambulo, Sashugo says tat. Amavis Mabili Pelega twenty one to twenty two. Over to you, Baba. Ongo Bayo, Gerum Niga, Kuba, Asalena, Miss Salon Sam, Subkosi, Jenga Loko Nami Nang Oba, Nasala Nuba, by Salon Saka Subkos. Baba went on well, is La Colia Pil and Kulungulue too. Is La Colia Pili Sababa. Is lakho leyabopha amanxeba izwi lakho leyathuthuzela izwi lakho lethi njabulo laye ngekho khona injabulo lona lethi njabulo izwi lakho leyafohla njengofohla kwamanzi ake ufohle ke ntamba ama nazi inhliso yosethu zihlele phambi kwakho baba ke uyifundise uyiqaqeshe bese uyayithumba uyithumbela kwena gameni lika Jesus Christ amen siyahlupha ke isikhathi family friends is it is la parati way to Gabonga cool, you go send buses. Now, what would you like in Gabong? Er, oh, go abo. So, Kulumago Noba Pell and Talipans. I bong and goes. Utiga ut oh 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 oh, Longan Kulumanga and Gomio Atinjua, Noma Oa Tatua, Gina Yokola. Was we skit in separate mouths? Elaslewa Evangeli, Bazalwan. Umage Esela, a skit in a part mouse. Uchohan, Eselietwa, Eganam Gan, Eganam Sobo. Isulenko Siam and Bulagela. Ukuluminda in a best Ningla is win. I beg Ayo. Kufiga is really to go here. M for going to pay go Bazalwan. As I'm forgetting in the Zell up again in Ayo. Finish well, it's a guy, Uma, as a street in a part mouse. No better island, again, Gamanya Mazu. Oh, no, by Hallelujah. I bong in goose. O shall I name, Goba naming a noba, Masala no baba. In Dota Nalea Guanagasa, Ibiluela Unoba. I bong in goose. Hallelujah. Gengayesi, Mosem Pilo. Ne kate wa gusiso wa kina se felimpin kama nyama zige wa ngoba aibongi ngos ngoba yo ngomshali sa nami njo ngoba nami nga ngoba si mele ke bazalwa niku ngoba kulomishaba ukulu kulu stembile ukutima si kulomishaba silo anama timono